I don't know how you guys feel, but I am tired of UFC champions wanting to fight in another division and hold up their division. And the latest person guilty of this is welterweight champion Leon Edwards, who says he's uninterested in defending his welterweight title post UFC 296, sets sights on the winner of Strickland Duplessis for double champ status. Now look, I get it. Fighters want to create a big legacy. They want to make more money. If you win two belts, I'm sure you're going to be making more money in the octagon. I understand that part of it. But you got to defend against contenders in your division. And it's not like welterweight is short on contenders. And we'll talk about that in one sec here, uh, second here. But um, Leon Edwards, when speaking to Sky Sports, said the following. 100%, definitely moving up to challenge the middleweight champion. I feel especially with somebody like Sean Strickland. Uh, and I think he's fighting Drakus Duplessis. So any of those two would be great. Uh, he says there's no exciting fights at 170 after Colby Covington. Look, Bilal Muhammad deserves the next shot. Whether you like him or not, Bilal Muhammad uh, has done more than enough. And they have history. They did fight to a no contest. There was that whole issue a couple of years ago with the eye poke. Uh, give Bilal a shot. Leon Edwards should not be asking for a fight at middleweight when he only has one title defense against Kamara Usman. If he gets a second, there's still other contenders on their way up. It's not like it's a division that is hurting for fighters in that weight class. If Let's just have a quick look at the rankings right now i mean you have so many options right now as far as uh, contenders in the weight class uh you've got um you know again we just talked about colby kamara usman if he decides to come back remember he lost a narrow fight to edwards uh in their trilogy fight so i think he's got a case if he picks up a win here uh you still got gilbert burns hanging around you got shavkat rachmanov who most likely will beat stephen wonderboy thompson when they fight he's done more than enough to earn a title shot here um, you know, Ian Gary's on the rise. Like to me, there's a lot of options right now at welterweight. And this is a division that has already been held up by this Covington and Edwards fight, which I think is fairly criticized, right? Like it could have been Bilal and it could have kept the division moving and Edwards, you know, he's going to defend his title in December. He defended his title earlier this year. So I don't like this idea and he's not the only one. We'll talk about some of the other fighters here in a second here, but for Edwards to say there aren't any more exciting fights, I, I couldn't disagree more. Shafkat Rachmanov's not an exciting fighter. Come on. Like, I understand that sometimes when fighters are doing interviews, they are asked about other weight classes. It's just what interviewers do. But uh, for Edwards to say there aren't any more exciting fights, I couldn't disagree more. And he's not the only one doing this. We have this coming in the opposite direction. After uh, his win, winning the title at 205 pounds, Alex Pereira, after knocking out Yuri Prohaska, says come to daddy that he wants to fight Israel Adesanya. Now, I understand. I believe at the time Pereira uh, didn't know that Jamal Hill was going to be getting the next shot or that he wasn't going to be ready in time. So I understand a little bit more from here. But same sort of thing. Adesanya doesn't deserve a title shot. I know they have history, but Adesanya just lost his title at middleweight. Uh, he should not be getting a title shot next after coming off a loss. Same thing with um, this situation with Leon. Like, again, you got to defend your title a couple times before you can start having super fights. The reason Alex Volkanovsky got to move up a weight class and fight Islam is because he's literally cleaned out the 145 pound division. I have no issues with that. Um, you know, now you're getting guys that are just winning their belt and now they're trying to fight fighters that aren't in the weight class. This is a trend I am not a fan of. And I don't think I'm alone here. Look, we all want exciting fights. We want the fighters to be compensated better. I don't think anyone is disagreeing with that, but stay in your division, build a legacy there and then move up. The reason, like I said, Volk moved up is because he was completely cleaning out his weight class. And that's why he got the opportunity to fight up there. There's just no reason for Adesanya to move up and fight Pereira. They're just like there's no reason for Edwards to move up and fight Strickland and Duplessis, especially for the fact that Sean Strickland is a new champion. What, he beats Drakus and then his next title defense after that is going to be Leon Edwards? That makes no sense. So I don't agree with that either. Islam Mahashev has also done this as well. Now, again, not as bad as these other two or not as bad as the Leon Edwards one. It's not like Islam saying there's no other contenders in the division. And really, he can't say that because there's a lot of contenders at lightweight. But um, Islam as well coming out here and saying... Um, where is it here? I need some new names, a second belt. Uh, if they call me, I will be ready for Colby and Leon. So that's a bit different. It's not like Islam's coming out and saying like, hey, there's no one else in the weight class I can fight. I think it's pretty obvious. They're probably going to do Islam and Charles next. Justin Gaethje is the rightful one to fight for the title after that. I know there's been some debate about that, but like, come on, he beat Fazeev. He knocked out Justin Poirier. Gaethje should get another shot here. I, I don't have an issue with that. Um, and then there's also, you know, you got Armin and Benil fighting and there, there's just a lot of options at lightweight as well. So that's my thing. Like if we're in a scenario where there's no other contenders in the weight class and it's a situation where, you know, they need to just keep these fighters and the champions active. I don't have an issue with that. Um, like in the case of Volkanovsky, like he had already beat Max Holloway three times. There's no reason to do another Holloway fight. I can understand him moving up, but this, I mean, there's just no need for it. And so I, you know, I just, I see this trend happening more and more. You're seeing fighters wanting to move up a weight class. To me, you should only get to move up a weight class or move down a weight class 
if you've actually cleaned up the division or you had like a big legacy in that weight class. And these are all new champions for the most part. Like Islam's been champ for what, a couple of years now. Uh, Pereira just won the title on Saturday. And Leon Edwards just won the title, what, last year, right? So I, I would prefer to see uh, fighters... Um, get an opportunity where they're, you know, cleaning out the division a bit more before we start doing that. And like I said, the only way that I would even consider this being an option is if there just isn't any other fighter. Like maybe there's a bunch of fighters that are injured or maybe a bunch of fighters are booked up or maybe, you know, a contender you thought was going to be there loses a key fight and they're back of the line. But no, my, my belief is this for welterweight, Edward should fight Colby. The winner of that should fight Bilal. And then after that, Shavkat. Okay. It's pretty simple in welterweight light heavyweight. It's pretty simple here. Alex Pereira, Jamal Hill. The winner then fights maybe the winner of Jan and Rakic, or you've got, I mean, let's just look at the rankings right now as far as light heavyweight. Like, I feel like you have some options here. Um, you know, light heavyweight, you've got, uh, where are we here? You've got Megaman and Kalaev. I completely forgot about him. So he's probably going to rematch Johnny Walker, right? He he beats Walker. He's another guy in the mix too, right? Lank Kalaev's got what? He's got one loss against Paul Craig at light heavyweight. He's right in the mix too. So this is my issue. Like if we're talking about divisions that don't need, or that, that like I said, don't have a lot of contenders, then then that's one thing, but there's there's plenty here. And then um, even at middleweight on the other side for Leon, right? Dracus and, and Strickland, like Jared Cannon here has a win over Sean Strickland. He's a rightful, um, you know, guy. There's Hamzat Chimaev who just won, although I think Chimaev needs another fight. I've been very vocal about that, but Chimaev's still in the mix here, right? Um yeah, so, and, and again, Dracus, you've got Adesanya as well here. Like, what's going on with him? Like, I know he's taking some time off, but technically he's still in the mix as well. So if Leon were to come up, that's going to mess everything up here. So um, it seems like the UFC, for the most part, has been pretty good about this. Like, I've yet to see, I mean, and Dana, I'll give him credit, Dana White, uh, right after Pereira mentioned this about Adesanya, he actually stepped in and said, no, 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 it's Jamal Hill next. So that's at least good. At least the UFC's listening, but... I don't know. Like, I'm getting really annoyed with this. I don't know how you guys feel, but it's one of those things where I'm just like, again, like we're talking about moving up a weight class. Um, you know, and it's not that I don't want to see the fighters get paid. I want, I want to be very clear about that. Like, I'd love the fighters to get, you know, paid and compensated very well. But um, if it, 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 it's kind of like them calling out the boxers, right? Like O'Malley's calling out these boxers because, you know, Usman was calling out Canelo and all these other names because they want to make more money. I understand that. But um, I just think for, you know, the, 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 the sport, you want to see these divisions moving, especially welterweight. It has been one of the slowest moving divisions in the last little bit, and it needs to pick things up. And this is not helping right now. Him talking about fighting Sean Strickland and Drake. And also like, I know Leon's like tall for the weight class, but like, I don't know, man, like it's a, it's a different, it's a different animal when you're moving up a weight class. There's very few fighters that have been able to move up and have a lot of success. I always look back at the Izzy, uh, Jan Blahovich fight where everyone just assumed that Izzy was going to do well when he moved up a weight class and that didn't happen here. Right. So I think Leon would do okay. I don't know if he beat Strickland or Dracus. Like I said, I think it's a lot different when you're moving up a weight class there. Um, yeah. And Islam, you know, I think Islam would do it well at welterweight, but again, we'd, we'd have to sort of see, uh, how he would do up there. So I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you think of all this? Do you want to see super fights like this? Or are, are you like me and you get annoyed? It's like, hey, you got to like defend your title in the division a little bit. And let's see you clean, clean out that division first. And then we'll talk about double champ status. So let me know what you think in the comments. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, at Lynch on Sports. I'm James Lynch. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.